and we're having an early start this morning. It's just gone half past six. We're having some pancakes. Um, we're having coffee too and I'm going to have this maple butter on mine. Trevor's parents are visiting from Canada at the moment and they brought this with them and I'm really excited to try it. It certainly looks good. And it tastes good too. I am on my way to Morrison's. I'm going to get a few bits for the weekend. We don't need that much. We're actually going to go out for lunch today and tomorrow. We've got afternoon tea booked at Attingham Park which should be really nice. Um, so I just want to pick up something light for tea this evening. I'm thinking of doing like a chicken salad or something. So I wanted to get here early because it just gets so busy and I really don't like going to the supermarket when it's busy because you can never find what you're looking for. People get in your way. So I'm getting a, an early start on it, but also because I'm hoping to put an hour in at the allotment before lunch. I hope I've got room in my backpack for all of this. I may have gone a little bit crazy. This is everything that I picked up and I got it home fine. I used my backpack in a little carry bag. I got two bunches of tulips. So there's some red ones and these ones I'm hoping are purple. And then I got three packets of these tomatoes. Um, I'm going to do a tomato salad tonight. These ones are from Worcestershire, which I thought was quite nice. So those ones are British grown and also there's like the selection of different types of tomatoes and the different colours because I find they're just big round salad tomatoes just taste of water so I wanted a nice selection of um, different flavoured tomatoes to put into the tomato salad. So I seem to end up buying quite a few herbs despite growing them. My confetti coriander is not doing well so I've got coriander, tarragon and basil and I've got at least chives here so the much is to go with the salad, a cucumber, um, some carrots because I'm going to do carrot and coriander soup which is for tomorrow night after we get back from Mattingham Park and then just some fruit, apples, oranges, bananas. Oh, and I got some chicken at the back because I'm gonna do a poached chicken salad. So my plan now is to prep all of the food and do the breakfast dishes. I just want to get out of the way. I like cooking for people, but I also like to not be in the kitchen when they're here. So I prefer just to prep everything in advance because it's just gonna be a salad um, tonight and a soup tomorrow. That's, that's pretty easy to to get ready ahead of time. So that's the plan for this next little bit of time. <laughs> I put the pasta on to boil and then I quickly did the dishes. The pasta is draining now. I've put the fruit in the fruit bowl. I've just washed the carrots. And then um, I'm gonna... They won't come up that clean. I've only given them a rinse. I'm sure they'll be fine. I'm gonna put them into the oven just to get a bit of color on them because it kind of sweetens them up a bit if you um, roast them. And then I'll be making the soup out of those. Now I'm doing the tomato salad. So this is my chicken. I just poached that with some chives and some lemon in water. I'm going to let it cool down and then shred it and put it into the salad. The carrots are done too. Rather than soup them up, I'm going to pop these into just a plastic bag or something because um, I'm running a bit short of time. I've shredded up that chicken now and then the pasta is in here with a little bit of just an iceberg lettuce and some cucumber. I'm also going to add to that some spinach and rocket from outside but because it's growing I want it to be super fresh so I'm just going to get it this evening and rinse it off and, and put it in just before serving. Um, I've got a little bit of time now but I don't think I'm going to, um, I'm just going to go down to the to to the greenhouse to water the tomatoes because um, I'm meeting everyone for lunch in town at half past 12 and if I get all muddy at the allotment then I need to come back and get changed so I'm just going to have a bit of a, a potter down there I think. The tomatoes at the plot are looking good. I've actually got some growing outside so they need a lot of water. Well, so do the ones in the greenhouse but they're, they're looking good so far. The slugs haven't had them either which was something that I was a little bit worried about. Heading into town for lunch now. Trevor actually suggested going to the market hall for lunch, which sounds good because you always think of restaurants really to go to for lunch, but he's had a couple of nice meals recently in the market hall. So we're going to go and check that out. And then this afternoon, we're going on a tour of the prison. I've never been inside there before. So it's a day of firsts. <laughs> Thank you. 
Shall we just sit down? So we decided to come to the tea and dumpling place and look at these nice glass teapots. Yes. Trevor has got the Beijing and the mushroom. He's just mixing up his dipping sauce there. And then you get a whole selection of garlic and chilies to put in it. And I'm also having Beijing um, dumplings which are pork filled. I forgot to mention I was also having a cucumber salad. We're just walking through the quarry now, so we're on our way to the prison. I think we've got about 15 minutes before the visitor centre opens, and that opens for half an hour before the tour starts. And the tour is actually two hours long, which is a quite a long tour for us to be going to the prison. I don't know what, what they're going to show us. It doesn't look that big from the outside, but we shall go and find out, I guess. So this is the prison. We're going inside there. Okay, as a new reception, we took you to that office there. Me and Trevor have been shut in a cell. I don't think he's coming to lock it. The menu sheet went under the door on Friday night. We are home now and having our dinner. So the salad we had for tea was really good. I haven't filmed, it's been a couple of hours since we had that. We then watched a movie, we watched the Spooks movie, which was also quite good. I haven't um, watched Spooks for a while, so it was good to catch up on that. I was a bit worried that there wasn't enough salad because lunch was lunch was amazing actually. That place in the market was really, really good. And the um, prison tour, the guy that, that did the prison tour for us, I couldn't film that much in there it was a little bit awkward um but he used to actually work at that prison and he had so many stories it, and it was two hours the tour it was really good value i would definitely definitely recommend that so yeah and then we watched the spooks movie which was fun and trevor and i are just settling in now we have been on the homebrew so i'm a little bit flushed I wanted to say thank you to you all for sharing your quotes last week they were so inspiring every time i went in to reply to comments um there was loads of really motivating quotes there so I kind of want to do that again if you've got a second quote that you'd like to share or if you didn't share one last time do share one this time because I've been writing them all down in my file of facts and yeah they're, they're really it, it's nice and motivating when you check the comments to have those little quotes so thanks for watching this week guys and I'll speak to you again soon night night these hanging baskets look pretty don't they these are new these have just gone up hmm, today I think or